forecast with NBC 26 Chief Meteorologist Cameron Moreland. If you had to pick just one day out of the entire year that would be considered the coldest day of the year climatologically, yesterday was that day, which means we are now at the heart of winter. And as we head through the next seven days, it's not really going to feel like it. Here's a look at your forecast for the next week or so. The normal high is 24. That's where we'll be tomorrow. But after that, we're going to be well above that. In fact, on Saturday, high temperatures will be pretty close to 40 degrees. And that's not what you snowmobilers want to hear after all that snow. It's going to be melting. Right now, we are looking at temperatures that range from the lower teens to the lower 20s. It is 12 degrees in Sturgeon Bay. We've got 18 in Oshkosh, and we're looking at 23 degrees in Wapaka. In Appleton, a mixture of a few clouds and some stars after some on and off light snow showers earlier today. It is 18 degrees. In Green Bay, you can see we've got kind of a mixture of clear skies and clouds as well. The temperature is 17, and the winds are light. Storm Shield radar continuing to show some late Lake effect snow across the area today. No, it's not lake effect snow from Lake Michigan. That's now moving into lower Michigan. It's actually lake effect snow coming in off of Lake Superior. This activity will be slowly winding down as we head throughout the evening. The satellite picture shows a mixture of clouds and stars across central and northeast Wisconsin tonight. High pressure is building in from the west, and that will be our main weather maker as we head through the next couple of days. Underneath that ridge of high pressure today, it felt and looked like the middle of winter. Take a look at these highs only in the single digits and teens. But what you can't see on this map is that this area that was so cold today was actually much warmer than what we saw yesterday at this time. And that is the beginning of our next January thaw. That January thaw is going to be heading towards Wisconsin tomorrow. We're going to warm up to levels that we saw today that will be mainly in the mid 20s. And that warm up is going to come in on a gusty west to southwest wind as high pressure passes to our south. And those gusty winds will produce some blowing and drifting snow as we head through tomorrow, especially in rural areas and especially near the shoreline of Lake Michigan. So expect slippery roads and low visibility at times. With that westerly wind continuing into Thursday, temperatures will take off. It looks like most of us will see lower to mid 30s, and that's when January thaw take two begins. So your forecast for tonight calls for a mixture of stars and clouds, maybe a leftover flurry. Overnight lows will be in the single digits. Tomorrow, a mixture of sun and clouds and windy. Look for a high right around 24. That is my three degree guarantee for tomorrow. If I can hit that high within three degrees, we will donate $100 to St. John Shelter, and we did that today. I forecast 23, and the actual high temperature was 23 degrees. On Thursday, we can expect sunshine to mix with clouds. It's going to be breezy. Highs will be in the lower 30s. Mid-30s on Friday, close to 40 on Saturday, with gusty winds continuing. As we head into Sunday, we can expect thickening clouds. On the back side of this January thaw, there's going to be a big storm developing across the central part of the country right now. It looks like it's going to create a mess across Wisconsin with the chance for rain, sleet, freezing rain and snow. How much, where and when are questions that will be answered as we get a little bit closer. So basically not that pretty out next week. <laughs> no, no. I mean, we got a ton yeah. of snow yesterday right. and it's like, yes, let's get out and hit right. the trails. But now okay. it's going to warm up and we've got rain on the way. All right, Cameron, thanks for that. We'll still ahead tonight. A new strain of the